welcome back to another informational video that we like to share information about the things we're learning. And right now it's all about what we're learning in living in RV full time. This video is inspired by the questions that we keep receiving and what it's like towing from this truck, this massive size of an RV. So we have a 2021 Sabre Cobalt Edition fifth wheel. It weighs, because I get this question a lot, how much does it weigh? When we weighed it a couple months ago, it weighed gross weight about 14,600 pounds. That I would say might be like the max of what we want it to be, so we are actually going through it this month. But yeah, so that's how much it weighs. And our truck is a 2015 Ram 2500 Mega Cab, and it has a 6.7 Cummins diesel engine. You can check out both our videos for our rig and our truck. So Angel's gonna take over the rest of the video. He is gonna talk about how the truck has been working with pulling this RV, but we have had challenges along the way and how we fix that and everything. I hope it helps. I hope it supports any of you who have these qu same questions that we've been receiving, and I also hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm gonna let you guys know about the issues that we had and how we fixed it and how it kept us on the road. So with pulling the RV the first time, I was pulling it with everything in stock from the manufacturer. So we started pulling the rig with everything on it, all of our stuff, and everything was great up until after we went from Kansas to Montana. And when we were in Montana, we were going up those steep mountains, those steep hills, and we ended up seeing some issues that we were having with uh, acceleration. So something had happened when we were going up these mountains and you know, I'm just pushing it, I'm, uh, not pushing it too far, but I'm just driving, you know, and I think everything is fine because we're climbing and I assume everything's doing good. It just could have been my inexperience. Maybe I was just pushing the truck too hard and um, something that happened with my air intake, my stock air intake, and um, I had to get it changed out. So I got a SNB air intake filter from SNB filters and uh, it just boosted my air intake it boosted the performance of my turbo which my turbo you know just made my engine come alive i'm getting a, a lot more power and a lot more uh, acceleration so the smb cold air intake was the first issue that we had so we got that taken care of and it was just running beautifully we went from montana to Colorado, we ended up having some issues with some other tubes, air intake tubes. I just believe that the issue for that was because I had upgraded the cold air intake to push in all this extra air into the stock intercooler tubes, which goes from the turbo to the intercooler to the throttle. I believe that I was just pushing too much into it. I ended up having to change my intercooler and I put Banks boost tubes into them and it was kind of a hassle to get into but and then after i did that swap of the boost tubes from the stock tubes going to the intercooler from the turbo and into the throttle i've had no issues i've been having better gas mileage and more power with those two switch outs from i guess just the air that i'm pulling into the engine to give it more power so that's been working out really well it's easier said than done uh, getting into those spaces and putting the boost tubes in there because they are bigger than the actual stop stock tubes so having that extra air go in there to give you better mpg is definitely a must-have but yeah it's just so tight to put it in there like it was really tough but i yeah. ended up sticking it out i ended up doing like a two-day project to put yeah. one in and then it kind of got dark it started to rain one night <laughs> so i had to put everything together and just do the other half another day but uh yeah you needed to have both of them in though just to have that full fuel efficiency uh happen and, and start you know, working out for your um for your truck yeah that's definitely more easier said than done and angelo like he did all himself and um, he really did persevere yeah, it through fun. it. it was yeah, fun. taking it apart and then putting it back together, it was great. And we talked about that too. That like when you are like living the RV, there's a lot of learning curves. But we yeah. just stand on our firm in our faith and say, you know what, we're believing that we can do this. Yeah. And so if you do happen to get this truck and this size of a rig, um, mm -hmm. 
it, it can work out. Um, and if stuff, stumbling blocks happen, just know that you can work through it and you can yep. figure it out mm -hmm. and you can make it happen. We have, and yep. now the track is working amazingly. Thank yeah. you to Angelo's perseverance in just that. Do and, your homework, do your mm -hmm. research and find the best one that you can get uh, yep. for yourself, for your ride and you'll be able to keep on riding. Yeah, so hopefully this was a better visual because we've gotten a lot of questions when it comes to does this truck work with this fifth wheel? And for us, it does. We're not changing our truck anytime soon. No. We're not changing our V anytime no. soon. So yeah, for us, it works. Um, yeah, so hopefully this helps and supports you as our community here. And thank you for being here with us. Yes. Um, definitely you. put the little notification bell to get our videos and uh, we'll see you at our next one. Any more questions? Let us know. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>